Hey YouTube, it's Saturday, which means I get to play again. Um, I had a long day out there in the driveway doing stuff on someone else's Jeep. Um, well, the little tow hitch thingy on it. Anyhow, so today I am building um, an idea for a little uh, ballerina thingy. So I got this little roller rocker from a Harley Davidson. I got this gear. I think it comes out of a Toyota. Someone gave me both of them. Uh, different people. So I think, um, you know, a little Mohawk ballerina, I guess it would be... You know, um, so I'm building a little base for it. Originally, before I came up with this thing, I was going to use these as the legs, these little bolts here, and um, I don't really think they're going to work now. But I'm starting the video anyhow because I need to weld this little washer in here so that this can go on top of it. So I'm going to at least get that done. I got for the bulk of it um, everything cleaned up that I'm going to use. Uh, the legs, I believe, I'm switching to our push rods. Um, trying to make the video kind of quick this time. Trying to go a uh, long video, quick video uh, in my rotation right now. I think that's kind of working a little bit better for everyone, so that's what I'm going with. Um, anyhow, so that's where I'm at right now. Um, I'll get the rest of things cleaned up. I'll get this push rod here uh, cut down. I um, think we just needed about half. And I'll get it cleaned up. And I'll come back on. I don't know why, but we'll at least come back on. And then we'll start tacking things together. Okay, YouTube, so it's uh, Monday. I actually didn't get to work a lot on stuff this weekend. Um, I've got no progress on this at all. I did a little bit of welding for the neighbor. I think I said that at the start of the video. I hung out with the kid a lot. So um, the progress I made is I got the welder washed. The <laughs> welder washed on. The washer welded on like I said I would. Um, I did empty out the inside of our uh, lifter here so there's no oil. I got it washed out there nice and clean so we got that taken care of um, I did run into some problems because I switched to gas I, I could break out the flux core again um, this is a uh, internal engine piece so what I got is when I heat it up with the welder it opens up the pores of the metal and all the years of spent inside the motor sucked in lots of oil so uh, it gets hot it opens up the pores and it releases oils that are still in that um, metal which really sucks because then it uh that's all sorts of nasty stuff in with that gas and uh, makes some really uglies. Um, so I got to try and see if I can work that out. It kind of pushed my washer low, so um, I'm still working on that. Anyhow, um, so that's where I'm at right now with that. Um, decided to use a push rod for the legs, and we're going to use a bolt here. Um, some, some other rocker arms from the uh, kick-ass chair project, or stool it was. Um, that's going to be the arms and what we're going to do with this we're making ourselves a little ballerina i'm going to show you how it's going it's going to go something like this or this this we're going with the little normal ballerina something like that you know yeah I, I don't know how much that got on there but we're going for something like that so um so where we're at right now is i got to work on this a little more we'll do that off camera and then we're going to do the little arm bins here and we're going to cut the push rod in half we're going to make our legs with that and i have a um that little circular plate that I got all cleaned up and shiny that we're going to mount her on. So it's kind of, uh, is what it is. I'll be back. All right, so right now I got my push rod cut in half. Got my rocker, went, went and welded it to the uh, gear. I did fix the uh, washer that I have welded in there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to weld my uh, push rod inside the uh, gear I got set up. Well, once I figure out where I want the legs and once I get that set up I'll go ahead and cut this one here and we'll bend it how we wanted the uh, knee to be bent so that, that's my plan at least for now okay YouTube I think um, I'm kind of having a bad luck day here I think that washer was actually a galvanized coated washer that I grabbed as soon as I started turning up the heat and hitting it with uh, welding on here it started throwing those little spider web cobweb things floating in the air so um gave me some really ugly welds around here but i came up with a fix since this is technically kind of an art thing this kind of started taking my uh flap wheel around giving it a nice little look for the ugly welds what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to go and i'm going to switch into my uh, flux core i'm going to flip this thing upside down and i'm just going to weld the hell out of it from underneath I get it all to stick together because I still have that hole on the inside. I'm going to go ahead and drill a little bit on the inside and I'll fix it from underneath where it's ugly and I'm just going to fill this whole damn thing with weld. I don't want to scrap it because I'm liking what it is right now. Um, being that it's technically a ballerina thing, I can make this turn out to be a little design around the top of her dress. Um, 
This is what happens when I don't pay attention after work and I come home tired. But I still want to make a project for YouTube because I actually like the fact that I have any subscribers at all. So um, that's what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to swap out my wire and the welder. And I'm going to get to fixing this thing. So, Okay, so I put in my flux core in the welder. I got the one leg welded on. I got it welded to the plate here. I took the other one, put it in the vise. I took a nice little wedge shape out of the back, figuring typically... When you cut a wedge out of the back of something, you can put a nice bend on it because that's usually how things go. This piece is like fighting me every step of the way. As I started bending it, it decided to break on me. So what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and uh, put the bend in it I wanted to get. Go ahead and just weld it from the back. And I'll weld it in place of where I wanted it. And we'll clean it up with a flap disc and uh, get the look we wanted. Keep in mind, this was supposed to be the quick, easy uh, piece. It's just not turning out that way. They don't always. Okay, well I finally got the leg on there and I got the knee kind of done out. I think I'm a little crooked, but it looks like she's just leaning forward. Um, since I welded them both on straight originally, not really thinking. It's been a horrible project for me. Worst one I've had in a while, honestly. Anyway, um, we won't dwell on that. So I'm going to have to fill this part in right here with some weld. I'll do that when I switch it back over to my gas. Um, but I did get this in. I got the knee built out looking nice. Um, decided not to fill this in because there wouldn't be a way to get in there with my grinder. Um, I don't have the right bit with the Dremel. But it's uh, 8.15 tonight. I get up at 3.30 in the morning so this is what I'm getting tonight. No arms. Um, we'll do that tomorrow hopefully. So um, that's where we're at right now. It's been a grueling project, but I'm liking how it's finally starting to turn out a little bit. If the wife doesn't agree with her leaning forward, I'm going to have to cut the legs off and start over there. But whatever. We'll see how it goes. It's always judged by the wife. Hey YouTube, welcome back to my quick and easy what's become my pain in the butt. So, um, working on the arms now. I thought maybe if I went and took a nice big groove out of it like that, it's still a little warm. I could um, take and put a bend in it without heating it up. I was absolutely wrong, as you can see with this one here. Um, so, just like with the legs, I'll go ahead and uh, put it back together and kind of make a nice uh, elbow bend in it, and we'll reformat it. Reformat, whatever. Um, I did put the welder back to gas. I was looking for uh, silver ones, since everything else is silver, but I really like the shape of these. This is just the absolute perfect look size everything length as looking for for the arms on this piece um so i'm just going to stay at the black we'll pretend she's wearing little arm tights um whatever you call them for arms i'm not sure on a ballerina or any woman i don't wear women's clothes i just don't know what else to call them so we're gonna call them arm tights um and these bolts are just they're what i wanted uh they got the right size of uh head on them for what i wanted for her shoulders to be i plan on lobbing off the one side of them um this is what they're going to be so anyway that's what they're going to be for her sh shoulders um this one here is going to be kind of up and then her other half will be kind of coming in towards her head and then the other one i was kind of planning on going down and angled to her hip so or at least towards her dress so that is a plan right now and that's how she's looking and then the quick and easy project that wasn't should be done All right, YouTube, so I got the uh, arms on. I got them welded where I like them. I cleaned them up with the uh, flap disc. I actually put on the old one instead of the new one with all the grit on it. It cleaned it up a little better. Um, I'm actually liking how it turned out. To get them on the back, I actually just kind of uh, put one tack on each side. Just one little tack's all you really needed. I'm going to go ahead and clean those up right now with the flap disc. Um, oh, actually. I wanted to show you this. I burnt through when I was using the uh, flux core to get everything burned in on the inside from underneath. Uh, I did burn a hole in her buttocks, we'll say. So I filled that in once I had the uh, wire and gas hooked back in. So I got that up as well. Um, still a little warm. So right now, that's how it looks. I'm going to get everything cleaned up. I'm kind of liking it. I don't know if I lived up to my pose earlier, even if you saw it. Don't think I'm going to do it again. You never know. Um, and that's how it is. Get it cleaned up, get some clear coat on it, and uh, call it macaroni. Alright, so one last little thing I tried is I got this little uh, kit. Little uh, Dremel bits. 
Actually, I have a little fake Dremel because Dremel actually pissed me off. So, um, you know, I had a Dremel. I'm not going to rant too long. I had a Dremel that uh, it actually lasted me about 10 years. I was really happy with it. When I finally burned it up, I went and bought a new one. I bought the, uh, I think it was like 100 or $110 for this new one instead of the cheap one. The damn thing only lasted me it was a little less than a year. So it really pissed me off, so I, I decided I wasn't going to buy a Dremel again. Um, bought this little offshoot band brand, and it came with a little stand. It came with a little sh little shaft thingy. Um, it's working out quite well. I think I've had it about six months now. I, I really kind of like it, so I don't know the brand name. I'm not going to throw it out there anyhow. But um, anyhow, so... I decided that's what I was getting at. Um, since it came with a bunch of these little cotton polishing thingies, I figured I'd uh, go ahead and throw one of those on there and see if I could polish up the uh, metal just a little bit. I didn't use the compound or anything like that. And I figured out it is a great way to get cotton all over yourself and your welding table. So keep that in mind. Um, other than that, I'm going to go ahead and say our little uh, ballerina is done. So... Um, you know, I've been trying to keep the little red thing behind it so you can actually see what we're doing and like I said I'm just going to clear coat it it's about the only thing left to do so it's not going to look any different than that um, I really hope you enjoyed this video uh, I'm sorry it didn't turn out as quick and easy as I thought it would uh, my next video should be a lamp since I told my good friend Shauna that I would have the lamp done for her about a week and a half ago and I did not so um, once again thanks for watching I really do appreciate it and uh, keep on welding